guys, what's up? Sherry here from No Fucks Given Crew. Sherry here from the Pucks Come Crew. How's it going? So I just wanted to let you guys know that I'm going to be selling my cards. So I'm going to be doing it privately. Um, and the way that I'm going to do it is actually the most expensive way to do it, which is to go through Staples. Um, so a guy named Cody is going to be printing these up for me, cutting them individually and packaging them for me. So um, just keep in mind, like I said, it's going to be the most expensive way to do it. So I think last year I paid $28 to have a deck printed. So that doesn't include the box, the instructions, and shipping and handling as well. So yeah, I'm not going to be making that much money on it, unfortunately. So, uh, But there seems to be a lot of towers happening right now. And so I'm kind of desperate at this point. Um, also, I wanted to say thank you to Kim for purchasing the deck, my original deck. Um, I have. Um, an example of the deck that I'm going to be selling except for it'll have the card description or the card names on the top and the numbers and stuff like that. Um, this deck doesn't have it so uh, and also paintings are still here so if anybody's interested that's Kurt Cobain, Chris Cornell and Scott Whelan there. Um, so you don't have to buy them all together. I, I'm happy to sell them individually so if you're interested let me know. Uh, my email is below. Uh, so for the the cards, um, there were quite a few people that were bidding on the original deck, so I'm so sorry you guys didn't get the deck, and I'm so like, oh my god, my heart is just full of love and appreciation and gratitude for, for you guys bidding on the cards in the first place, that just, uh, it gave me so much confidence, and um, yeah, thank you guys. So you guys will have the, f the first um, decks. Um, and anybody who contacted me through email as well, I'm happy to give you guys first choice as well. So I'm thinking of selling the decks for about $100. Uh, like I said, I'm not going to be making much on it for, you know, once everything's all said and done. So yeah, let me know. Email should be below. And I love you guys and enjoy this week's Twin Flame reading. Okay, cheers. Bye. Hi Masculine, Sherry here. So this is going to be a Yang reading for January the 30th until February the 9th. So I'm going to be doing a split element reading. And I'm going to try and keep it as short as possible because that twin flame reading was quite long. Okay, I'll pull the cards first. So I'm using Dorian Virtue's Romance Angels. Actually, I'll just keep that. Okay, so the overall energy, let your friends help you. Ask for and accept support from others. Um, you know, so this is kind of showing, you know, feeling a sense of loss or disconnect. And in the Twin Flame reading, um, the masculine got it like a broken heart card. Um, there was a lot of fears and darkness. And I think what the message of the card is, is to reach out and to, you know, maybe even that the masculine is realizing that he has friends and support um, around him as well. Because the overall energy of the reading is, you know, the message was that, um, you know, you are protected. Okay, so everything's going to work out just great. So this is a chance for you to, to learn how to accept accept help from other people. Okay, so emotionally, keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type in expectation. So emotionally, um, there is a sense of questioning or expecting something. That was a, a theme as well in the Twin Flame reading was that He's worried that things weren't going to turn out the way he had thought they will. They will. So he's focused too much on the future and thinking too much about the past. But emotionally, you know, 
he he's trying to keep an open mind about things. So I'm just going to pull a random card from my deck here. I don't feel like shuffling them. So the Three of Cups. So this is friendships, bonds, um, you know, people coming together in celebration. So emotionally, he, he feels that he has friends around him, a repeated theme. Um, and although there's expectations, He's trying to keep an open mind. Okay, so what is he thinking about mentally? Retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. So he mentally he's making plans to, um, you know, go somewhere quiet with the feminine, or you know, there it is a couple that are retreating together. So mentally he he's. He wants to retreat and disconnect from the world, and it seems to me like he's making plans to do that. The Sun card. So this is the most positive card in the deck, and it's a big yes. So mentally, he's very happy um, about thinking about retreating. Um, you know, this is a new star. It's a number one. It reduces down to one. Um, you know, and this is feeling very innocent and free and childlike. So, and this could even mean that he's on vacation right now or something like that. But, yeah, so mentally maybe he's making plans for a retreat. Okay, so what is spiritually happening? Attraction. The feminine got this card. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. So, he is also... Um, feeling this attraction with the, the feminine. Um, yeah, spiritually he's attracting love into his life, but there's hesitation there. Five of Swords, okay, so this is all about conflict, finger pointing. Um, even though there's some negative energy surrounding him, he's in. He's trying to be in the now, be in the moment, and not be affected by the negative thoughts, um, and think about the the future. But that's the whole problem: is you don't want to think too far ahead, right? So in the the three D reality, we have religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. So the 3D, again, there's a sense of calling, um, being tapped into source, um, feeling drawn, feeling attracted, feeling a desire to reach out, connect, form bonds and friendships and a tribe. So in the 3D reality, I think his mind is shifting or has already shifted from material importance to spirituality it really shows a lot of growth here spiritually the tower so things are coming down in the 3d for the masculine remember this is going to be for the coming 11 days so even though the tower hits him um it's almost like he accepts it accepts it he knows that that's was meant to be <clears throat> that's kind of how I'm feeling with my towers that have been happening. You know, I I have to think positively about it, that these things are coming down so that it clears the road ahead, right? Uh, so it, there's definite sense of acceptance that comes with the tower. Okay, so what is the soul saying? Healing family issues. The feminine got this card as well, and I did shuffle. So your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. So, um, you know, there's an image of a father here with children surrounding him. Um, so both aspects need to do a little bit more healing. Um, yeah, there's still a little bit of feeling like they're closed off or hesitant, but a desire to open up. So I'm just going to pull a card. Six of Swords. Um, we got the five of swords here and the six. So 
there is a definite negative energy that is surrounding uh, the masculine. Remember, he got the tenosaurs in the external environment for the twin flame reading. So there's possibly some family issues that are are weighing heavily on him. Um, the tower is a pretty difficult card to deal with. A lot of projections coming at him, but he's in a spiritual, you know, spiritual energy during this time. Even though there's some conflict and problems, he's he's moving towards calmer waters, but feeling that he's growing from it for a reason, if that makes any sense. Okay, so let's pull one final card as a message from the universe. What final messages do you have for the masculine? Okay, this one. Tiger, Lily, Tiger, Nautilus. So again, this is about holding on to things, protecting, um, protecting your treasures. Okay, so, O oh, Tiger Lily, my goddess, my grace, a vision like you stops a soul in its place. Such queenly compassion, such posture and poise, lets me know in an instant you're unlike the boy. So supple, symmetrical, shapely, and smooth, such balance and ease in the way that you move. Your smile is of mercy, your manner of tact, your beauty apparent um, in each tender act. What love and kind charity shines on your face, O oh, Tiger Lily, my goddess, my grace. So a graceful woman bedecked uh, by bright tiger lilies tenderly holds the shell of a nautilus close to her bosom. Her choice of adornment is reflective of her feminine beauty and elegant style. Oh, actually, this is a divine feminine card. So the message is embrace your femininity. The feminine power is radiance and shines from women and girls who are securely anchored within their bodies and souls. Um... Full of tenderness, love, and beauty and grace, the feminine power is soft yet strong. Now is the time to welcome this power. It is your right to be beautiful inside and out. Awaken the queen inside of you and let her blossom. Not a woman, not a problem. Look for the opportunity to get closer to women in your life. Be it your mother, sister, lover, or wife. Try looking through her eyes to help her, to help you get in touch with your feminine side and allow this her spirit to... Sorry, her spirit and compassion to influence some upcoming decisions. Okay, so again, there's a sense of family, friends, connections around you, um, and messages to reach out to those people um, and heal. All right, I hope this helps you guys. I love you. All right, cheers.